Capricorn, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at the Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from the 27th of December to January 2nd. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Capricorn, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge here is the hanged man. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the 10 of cups in reverse, okay? So your challenge here has a lot to do with uh, some sort of situation in your life that's not really moving forward. I feel like you're dealing with somebody here who's not taking action or maybe you're not taking action because somebody here is trying to make sense of some sort of situation they don't completely understand. We're gonna clarify this and get more information in a moment. In the recent past, you have the two of wands, the two of pentacles and the eight of cups. I do feel in the recent past, there was a decision or a choice that need to be made about whether or not you wanted to to disconnect from somebody here. Um, I do feel like there was uh, possibly a temporary separation here in the past, or if this isn't about a relationship, I feel like some of you may have decided to walk away from a job or some sort of situation here that wasn't really bringing you satisfaction. And as a result of that, in the past, a lot of you had to make a decision on what, what direction in your life you wanted to take. Now, in the present moment, you have the Six of Wands, you have the Eight of Swords, and the Six of Cups. So in the present moment, I do feel like um, you're still reminiscing about something here from the past. Um, I do feel like some of you are dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Saber, Gemini. I'm getting a Leo, maybe a water sign, Cancer here, Pisces. And it's like you're still kind of reminiscing about this person or they're still reminiscing about you. There's something here about nostalgia from the past in the present moment. We're going to find out more when we clarify. Now, in the near future, you have the Five of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. I do see here in the near future that... Um, a lot of you are possibly choosing to disconnect from an air sign, Aquarius, Saber, Gemini, maybe another uh, earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. There's something here about disconnecting from somebody because they're not honest or you don't trust them. But even though you're disconnecting from this in the near future, there is a possibility of working things out because the Eight of Pentacles is here. Okay, we're going to clarify uh, and get more information in a moment. Now, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn, you have the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Wands the four of swords, the moon, justice in reverse, and the seven of cups in reverse. What you don't see coming is the fact that um, you will find out some sort of truth if you haven't already. Um, the truth will stare you right in the face. This is in regards to some sort of situation that hasn't been um, working out for you. There's been a lack of fairness here. There's been a whole bunch of... Um, uncertainty surrounding the situation. I don't feel like the situation is completely over though. Ten of Wands is here in reverse and there's still a possibility of you and this person um, finding and having happiness. However, because you have the um, Seven of Cups here in reverse, what you don't see coming is the fact that this confusing situation is going to eventually come to an end. Now, one of the things I have to tell you that's really important that you need to know moving into January is Venus is retrograding in your sign and it's touching Pluto. So a lot of you are going to be going through a lot of transformation but what you don't see coming is, is that this situation, this confusing situation that a lot of you don't feel like you've been treated fairly in, um, there will be an opportunity to heal. There will be an opportunity to kind of bring things to an end to finally have happiness again. But there will this will be a process. And I feel like right now a lot of you are going through a lot of... Uh, tests with Venus retrograding in your sign and, and Pluto being there. Okay. So let's get into a reading and let's see uh, what's going on for you. Let's clarify your challenge, which is the hanged man. So 
the Hanged Man is clarified by the Four of Wands. You have the Two of Swords and the Queen of Wands, okay? So your biggest challenge here is the fact that you could be dealing with somebody here who's not opening up to you. They're kind of leaving you in the dark. You don't really know where you stand with this person. You don't know if you're going to still have a connection with them, a relationship with them. So your biggest challenge here is to be patient, okay? Um, Hangman, look at the situation from a different perspective before completely judging it and making some sort of decision. Now, let's clarify the recent past. Let's clarify the Eight of Cups in the recent past. Okay, so the Eight of Cups is clarified by the Eight of Swords. You have the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Cups. So I feel like in the recent past for many of you, um, again, there was a lot of confusion. Uh, some of you are dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I'm also getting Aquarius. Somebody here chose to walk away in the recent past because of a confusing situation. And as a result of this person disconnecting, I feel like a decision needed to be made, uh, Capricorn, by you. Tell me more about the Two of Pentacles. I'm also getting somebody here was juggling two people at the same time um, because there's a very strong player-like energy here um, from somebody. I don't know if this is you or your person, but I'm really strongly getting that somebody here felt like they needed to decide very quickly if this is something that they wanted to have in the future, especially if they started to see that somebody here was flirting, um, keeping their options open. And this may be the reason why a lot of you kind of were rethinking your life here in the past uh, and the direction that your life was going to take. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing happened in the past. Now, in the present moment for many of you, I do feel like there's a lot of success surrounding you, okay? So either you're be, you're very successful in something that you're doing, um, but even though you're successful and things are working out very well for you, there's still a lot of things that are on your mind about the past, okay? And I, th I feel like a lot of you may be trying to release yourself um, mentally from something here from the past. Tell me more about the Eight of Swords for Capricorn in the present moment. Okay, so the Eight of Swords is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Page of Swords. So in the present moment, um, I do see you trying to disconnect from something here. But I think the reason why a lot of you are keeping yourself in this mental, I call it a mental prison, um, because a lot of you are trying to make sense of why something happened the way it did in the past. And I feel like right now in the present moment, you're being confronted with an opportunity to move to uh, a new beginning, okay? The Fool is here and the Knight of Pentacles. But the way in which you're moving towards this new beginning is really slow because of maybe something here that happened in the past that a lot of you are still trying to make sense of, okay? Now, in the present moment, there could be some Somebody here from your past who is showing up um, or it could just simply be nostalgia but we're going to clarify the six of cups and see what is the important message for you here regarding your past So the Six of Cups is clarified by the Emperor. You have the King of Cups and the Ten of Cups. So in the present moment, I do see somebody here from your past showing up. Um, this is somebody here who has a lot of love for you. They want stability with you. I think the reason why this is happening is because this person sees how successful you are. They see that you're very successful right now. And whoever this person is, it's like they, they love you. I don't feel like it's not genuine. I feel like they are genuine here. They want something solid with you. But there's something here about you really releasing yourself from overthinking or overanalyzing this new beginning with this person. And it could be because of something here that happened in the past, okay? So you still haven't gotten over something here that happened in the past. And you cover it very well with your success, okay? So you may be just focused on your success right now, but deep down inside there's something here that, um, you know, you may need to confront when it comes to your past, especially if this person is somebody who is showing up in the present moment. They even may be somebody who is coming towards you in the present moment. Now, in the near future, there's a very, very important um, development that happens. And I feel like a lot of you are going to be choosing to disconnect from the situation, um, and when you do that, that's when it may start to work for you. Okay. But there's something about you f either feeling some form of deception from this person or experiencing deception. And that may be the reason why you choose to disconnect. Tell me more about the seven of swords in the near future for Capricorn. So 
So the Seven of Swords is clarified by the Empress. You have the Queen of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. So in the near future, um, I do see an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, somebody here that you don't really trust. It looks like they're coming back around um, because they want to work things out with you. So somebody here in the near future is really determined to work things out with you. Um, I think primarily after you disconnect in the near future, because somebody here is disconnecting. You have the... Um, the five of pentacles, which is a card of disconnect, leaving something behind. Tell me more about the five of pentacles. What's the important message here for Capricorn in the near future? The five of pentacles is clarified by the world. You have the king of wands and the ace of pentacles. So in the near future, I do see an opportunity that is going to come in. I feel like you're going to make an opportunity or you're going to give an offer to this person. Um, but this happens after things kind of end between you and them. So there is a, a, a brief period of separation in the near future. And it makes complete sense because Venus is re going retrograde. And there's a transformation that needs to happen in your connection in order for things to work out. Okay, so sometimes uh, separation or disconnect connect is needed um to kind of regroup and that's why you know your challenge here is a hangman because nothing's really going on right now you're trying to make sense of something here that really isn't moving um so an opportunity comes in after an ending so there could be possibly a reconciliation here to maybe work things out with this person tell me more about the eight of pentacles for capricorn in the near future Okay, so the uh, the Eight of Pentacles is clarified by the Page of Wands. You have the Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So yeah, there's going to be a new beginning here between you and this person, okay? Um, either a new love is coming into your life in the near future or you're going to have a new beginning with somebody here in the past that you've wanted to work things out with is what I'm seeing. So let's get some advice for you. Beautiful reading. What is the advice? Okay, so the advice for you is the Four of Cups. You have the Two of Cups and the Fool. Think long and hard about an opportunity that's coming into your life. There's an offer that's coming in. There's a new beginning that's coming in. Think long and hard. You know, this is why your challenge here is the hanged man because Spirit is saying, look at this situation from a different perspective. There's something here that you're not seeing. And you may decide to reject this person or they may decide to reject you when it comes to having a new beginning. But Spirit is saying before you do that, really think long and hard why you want to have this new beginning, why you want to reconcile, why you even want to have a new beginning in love in the first place. What does it truly mean to you? And what does it mean to this person? Make sure that you and this person are on the same page and you both want the same thing, okay? So by you doing that, that is what's going to lead to a happy and positive and successful new beginning, the fool, okay? There's no need to be worried about a new beginning if you already know what's going to happen. If you both, you and this person are able to communicate and really come to terms with why you want to have this new beginning, why you want to have a relationship and what it both truly means for both of you and you can come to that conclusion together, I see this new beginning being very successful. But the advice for you here is to think long and hard about why you want to take an offer or why you don't want to take an offer and what it means for not only you, but both you and this person moving forward. That may require a conversation, okay? So this is what I'm seeing for you, Capricorn. I hope this reading helped. Thank you very much for tuning in and I will see you on the next one.